So apparently, the media has been forecasting that a lot of younger people have been like on spring break, like in Florida and Georgia, and they're in great gathering and meet crowds, and they're thinking that it can't happen to them. And people over in Italy and China are trying to give a heed to warning. Well, the U.S. media and Trump has a lot to blame for that because originally, um, out in Washington State, they was old folks home, seventy year olds. They were said they were making it like it was an old disease and this virus and everything. And Trump was blase and arrogant and cocky about it. So, really, what do you expect? First, you say, "Oh, it's no biggie. It's a conspiracy and all that." Now you're expecting to change minds. One of the reasons why the younger generation doesn't take things seriously is because. Nobody got a wit. No one got a belt out or a switch out to wear that behind out and put things in perspective. So you have a lot of self-appointed discipline that's lacked. You know, it's like now you can't. You know, you couldn't tell nothing. You can tell when when them behinds then get tore up when they're supposed to, because if there's anything that impacts anybody, it's going to impact everybody. To sit there and act like that you twenty to 25 and younger or what have you and act like you are immune to this and they can't have any of you. It's just crackhead. And to just keep on thinking that you can just roll around without it having an impact. But this is a, this is real talk. This is what you see. Um, I see it. The attitudes are like those, a lot of things. And I know some people are going to say, well, didn't every era like that? No, no, every era wasn't like that. Depends on where you came up from, where you were, you know. You respected your authority. You don't always agree with it, but you respected it. But these eras that I'm seeing now, blase, and because everything has been social media, it is different because you can't compare eras. I mean, if you grew up on the super highway, super media, social media, you obviously, if I tra- if you try to tell a kid now that 30 years ago about cassette players and eight tracks that still look at you like you crazy. And those will be talking like you from like 60 years ago, you know, because it's like night and day. Technology's changed everything and the way people look and stuff. But I'm here to say younger folks got to watch out for the virus because it affects you even worse. You sitting there thinking you ain't. You, t- you be careless and reckless and you cough or you sneeze. It's more than just coughing and sneezing and smoking and all the other factors because it's a certain thing that everybody don't even begin to even know what's up, but it's real. And it hasn't been, it wasn't, it's not all their faults. Because dumb Donald Trump, doing his usual arrogance way, made it downplayed it, and they were late over here in the States. So, but you need to take heed to Italy and China. You need to take heed, it's real. All right, that's my thoughts and takes about uh, perception young people aren't. Um, in uh, aware of the coronavirus, acting arrogant about it. Give me your thoughts and takes. Do you agree, disagree? Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and the bell rings a new video. Wash your hands, keep your mind clearer, watch out for one another. I'm out.